Hey MTG players, it's Eclectics. Welcome back to draft number 13, where we are still in Diamond 3. Looking like we're stuck. Let's try to change that tonight. It's drafting time. All right. I'm in. Karen Soul Cleaver is pretty good. Nothing standing out over here right now. All right, um, nothing standing out over here. Even Calamitous Cave In doesn't really, uh, doesn't really entice me. Uh, Sunshot Militia, I think maybe I'll take the Dynatomaton. I've been impressed with the Dynatomaton because it's an artifact and a dino. Uh, Rumbling Rock Slide, of course, is a. is a card um but i like dynatomaton more than the rumbling rock slide on four um continuing with the red train this is a chupacabra let's see if we can grab chupacabra here times I it's chupacabra here mm, yeah I'm gonna try and grab the chupacabra black red oh black green is awesome I'm gonna take the green here, pick four. Huh. Green. Here's a bat, here's a tithing blade, here's a wailing pirates. I think I'll take the uh Huatlis. I'm seeing more of the red cards. Not a lot of green though. Green's kinda gone. Green again with Watley's. Have I learned my lesson? <laughs> I don't know. Terrence with Wailing Pirates seems great. Um, take Watley's and see where we end up. All right, cool. Look at that. All right. Yeah, I'm definitely taking the pickaxe here. Highest upside. There's Rumbling Rock Slide, which no one really wants, I guess. Mm, dinos versus nothing else. Yeah, sure. Okay. Looks like we are 
going into the dark. Oh, dark again, red, green. Hmm. Big seven with this. Yeah, definitely. Terrence with diamond pickaxe pickax is so good. The only thing we pass with the Chupacapra Echo is uh, here's Brackish, here's a uh, Compass Gnome. I'm gonna try and grab, I think the Sunfire Torch isn't part of this, but Compass Gnome can be. Brackish on blue. We are seeing a lot of blue. Hmm. All right, red. Maybe blue. Sunshot Militia as well is pretty good. So green is pretty iffy, but red is uh, for sure there. I'm gonna take the uh, thundering pirate here. This is a plus one. All right, here's a sunshot militia. Awesome. Maybe you get lucky and we get back the uh, rumbling rock slide, right? Okay. And volcano is for sure a play playable card. Photographer. Maybe if we can pick up Captain Storm, we can still go on blue. Oh, a rumbling rock slide on red. So red is completely open. Completely open. Red, black. Yeah, sure. Red green with the uh, with the frog. I think I'll take the frog here. Molten collapse. How many do we have here? Two. And uh, I think our the frog has a better spot here. If we go red green. Yeah, I'm better with red green than red black. Here's Petrify, here's a Pathfinding Axe Jaw, here's white though. Since they're missing red, I'd wager we get better. Maybe we get that back, but yeah green with this sure <clears throat> the enigma jewel is not a thing all right in the dinos we trust in the dinos we trust start getting these these are really good yeah Schooner, <laughs> blue schooner. Why aren't you guys taking the schooner? No one's in blue. I'm gonna take Wadley's here. Nope, not schooner. So replaceable stuff is this. Uh, nothing in this. Green is still gray. Yeah, we're going to take the Watleys. All right. 
Tavern Stomper versus an Armored King Collar, sure. We ha already have an Armored King Collar. We need big dudes. That is an awesome big dude. Stagger, second staggering size here is not bad. Echoing Deeps. Nope. Not a third staggering size. Captivating Cave, though, is pretty useful. So far, I'm liking it. Let's see if we can get replacements for that, but... Okay. That's okay, five. Maybe get something better. So far, we have Rumbling Rock Slide, Staggering Size. So our Tricks Compendium is pretty good. Together with the Diamond uh, Pickaxe and Terrans. Glimpse of the Core. Nope. This one is kind of more useful than this. I don't know. Maybe we can check it. Because we have Hidden Volcano and Captivating Cave already. Very useful. Power Creature you Control gets a deal's as you go to its power to target creature and opponent controls. We really missed that on the last game. So we'll try not to miss it this game. We're missing the uh, Burning Sun's Cavalry. So we want the Burning Sun's Cavalry, we want a pretty good top end, um, maybe we'll get pass on Dinos, uh, we might get the Dinotomaton, oh we didn't get the Dinotomaton pick 9, what did we get, the Captivating Cave, alright, since there's nothing, we're taking the Enigma, Another captivating cave is not so great. So right now we have three that are kind of playable, not really. We want more big stuff. Even the Sunshot Militia here is kind of... Uh, iffy the thing with sunshot militia is that you can't do it at the end of the opponent's turn uh, that's the only thing about the sunshot militia because it's a sorcery so you're gonna have to do it on your turn and you actually tap something for it which is not great Playable versus a brackish blunder. Um, let's see if. Oh, okay. That is playable. Very much playable. Versus the basking capybara. What we're looking for are Itali's favor. Some top end. Uh, top end dinos. I'm pretty sure we can take it to a trophy if we can. Of course, we need to get a bit lucky, but and play well. But Kalen, not great. Kalen is playable though, because we can create map tokens with it. Green. Mm, nothing else on this pack. Terrible pack for us. Terrible pack for us. Nothing we can use. Pass a Palani's Hatcher or something, please. Colossodactyl would be great. We're taking Kaelin. Not too happy about it. We might be able to use Kaelin. We have Might of the Ancestors, Quicksand Whirlpool as well. So if we don't have enough playables, we can... Splash in white. We have the diamond pickaxe. We have the uh, 
Oh, yeah, like a cartographer's companion. If we're short on playables, so we're trying to look for good playables. Like Kids Queens. That's an awesome pickup. No one's in black. Well, our neighbor here is not in black. But it's Quince is an awesome pick. Whoa. A couple more of those, please. It's Quince. More it's Quince, please. Yes, please. I'm going to take those. So, again, we got Daring Discovery, Basking, Sunfire Torch, Kaelin. control an artifact <sighs> boo stupefaction didact echo I guess we got no choice but jade seed stones all right I'm gonna try out jade seed stones although I'm not happy about it an artifact that does not do a whole lot of thing. Wait seven for a seven seven. We got the poison dart frog, so maybe usable, but not happy about it. Uh, again, there's nothing for us here. There's a hot foot gnome. All right, since we got nothing, we're gonna grab oh petrify. Can we just grab Petrify? I mean, Petrify is a thing. If we splash white. No, we're gonna not try to splash white, although it is offered to us. That might have been a mistake because white, green is there. Yep, so we're not getting it. We got white though. Are we ignoring white? White's the one that's available this uh, this pack. It's really difficult. I'm not gonna do it. Oh yeah, Tinker Stoat with Kalen. Uh, playable versus non playable. All right, nope. All right, Dolly's favor here. Playable, so we're gonna take it. Staggering size there. Ooh, triumphant chomp is awesome. Nine, that'll be ten. This is another panic altasaur, though. We might cut off diamond pickaxe then or something. <sighs> Playable five versus a removal. Might cut off something then. All right, great. That is an awesome pick. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's the deck. Bit of improvement. 1310 replacement for jade seed stones please this is our original pack so we're not gonna get anything better I uh, yeah not awesome I don't think we're gonna be able to get anything better so hmm One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're not gonna get anything better. Maybe hot foot gnome. Hot foot gnome on three. We're at three. I don't think so. 
buried treasure. We got a lot of good white cards. Staggering size might actually be okay. So I want to keep all of the... Uh, got to... It's hot for gnome and what? I guess it's Jade Seed Stones? Yeah, it's Jade Seed Stones. Okay, or maybe staggering size, yeah. Because Terrans will keep increasing stuff, especially with the Diamond Pickaxe. Then these two can just be shooting with the uh, Sunshot Militia. Hopefully we can hedge on creatures. Uh, yeah, we're not trading uh, a lot. Alright, another duel. Feature, uh, no, Terran is fine. Or more, oh, kind of the same. Yeah, uh, this is fine. We begin with red more than green, which is fine. All right, let's, uh, Play game. Green, we got red. Yep. All right. Don't have walk with the ancestors as well for seismic monstrous or. this dude which is not great but I think it's right yeah I think it's right all right two for one ourselves with preacher very early kind of not great Supposed to all right two for one us that's already a two for one So I can cast this or that. If I do this, he'll attack for one, but I can block with this. Unless he has removal, 
the next turn, um, still one, but he's going to draw cards, right? Draw a card and lose life. Permanence in your graveyard, you lose life. He all has death touch, so we're in a bind. We're in a tight bind. We gotta get rid of this thing, right? We can take care of this thing later if we can draw land. I think it's this one. Yeah, we can jam. Yeah, all sorts of things like the fossilize and stuff. That's another dust toucher. drawn okay well you just had a two for one and he keeps trading us off with stuff like this so us on this wow right kind of flooded four six we might die nice well, we're dead. <sighs> oh, that's really disappointing, man. We didn't really mount to anything. He just kept pummeling us. Hmm. Black will be our greatest adversary, yeah. Can we get better draws, at least? <sighs> the diamond pickaxe versus another. Because what are we actually... Uh, no, the diamond pickaxe is great. Please draw a poison dart frog, Darren soul cleaver. That's what we want right now. Kaylin, how are you? No. Oh, Kaylin is what? Oh, it's one. This is three though. No, we'll retain it. have three we have four i'll keep it if we draw red we can cast diamond pickaxe but without anything no one drop this oh no oh no what arena 
crashed. It's way too early. We should be able to get back in. We don't have timers though, so let's hope we don't get screwed with this crash. Four. Is it better to leave this dude or to have? Because we can do diamond pickaxe. Well, we can leave it up. That's green petrify. I think we'll just cast this. What lease? What lease, right? Mm -hmm. So is it what lease or staggering size? Right now it's staggering size. So you can only kill the dino, sure. Okay. I accept. Unless you clear the board, we should have this. Mm -hmm. Buy me three. Ten, ten, three. All right. All right. Let's pause this for now. We got a win. Uh, that was pretty convincing, that win. Leaving up Huatli Strike versus uh, putting something on board was, yeah, the better. Oh, not really. Because if we had, le uh, if we left Huatli, we could have actually killed the, uh, yeah, could have killed him. Would have been the same thing. Essentially, I think. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, all right. Let's uh let's reset. We're continuing the saga. Let's take a look at the deck. We have 13 and 10. Just 13 creatures, but hopefully we can uh maximize threats. We have quite a bit of a removal in the form of a couple of Watley's Final Strike, Rumbling Rock Slide, and Triumphant Chomp. So four removals and two tricks. Which hopefully is enough to get this three uh not just two tricks but three three tricks hopefully it's better than uh, most things uh, let's see we have a chance for three tricks actually but i think jade seed stones is better because we have a couple of sunshot militias also if we go the long game uh, craft with creature just is great. We'll see. I mean, maybe it's better for the uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I think there's an argument for jade seed stones, especially since it's a little uh, craft. Greatest power, so if 7-7 seven, seven is here, the Cavern Stomper or the Seismic Monster Sword, it'll heal for a bit. Oh, we have removal with its quince as well. So, five removals. Triumphant Chomp, Watley's Final Strike. One, two, three, four, five. Five removals. Yeah. I think I'm gonna go and uh, pitch the seismic monster soar. Yeah, that's a valid target for Triumphant Chomp. Maybe that was uh, pulled a little bit too, uh, too aggressively. Final strike. So now we can't attack. Block, block. can't even attack with uh, this other one that was really bad so we should have not done that we should have just did a dinatomaton because that's just two that was a bad call it was a really bad call
Whoa. Oh no. Okay, we're very behind now. Ay, ay, ay. Gonna cast that. Oh, okay. That's not. Yeah, that's something. So that was a very bad play. Uh. Pulling its squints like that. That has to go for sure. Seed stones is going to put it on three. But I think panic altasaur. This is five. It requires three. But we can attack for more. Um, panicked altasaur. We'll go ahead and take care of this. What about Jade Seed Stones? We can't. If we attack right now, we can't block this. Yeah, that's fine. No, God. <laughs> yeah, seven, one, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four, five, four. Seed stones will distribute stuff here. Let's not block this right now. One, two, three, four, five. Nope. He's got the Dracosaur again. Wow. What did he do to get it back? The Kawadi. He'll still have the upper hand though. He can't attack, but he can still make use of the uh, ability of the Drax. Which sucks really bad. Oh my god, and he's got staggering size. <laughs> yeah, we're dead. Okay, and he, he also has Jade Seed Stones. Okay, well. Yeah, the play, I should really think about the play. So the play with the uh, It's Quint on this was pretty bad. That was the bad one. That was a really bad play. I should have just uh, thought about it.
am dead. I have no way to not. Yeah. Alright, he just needed to cast it. That was my bad. That was my bad, for sure. That was my bad. Had the cards did not think about it properly. Gotta slow down. Gotta slow down. Gotta slow down. Gotta slow down. Dra but he had Drakasaur, yikes. Drakasaur with the Poison Dart Frog. That was fine, because if he didn't get rid of the Poison Dart Frog, he would have casted the Drakasaur on 4. Then he would have been in much bigger trouble. You have a lot of chance to draw into green. A lot of green, right? Yeah, I got it. Nicer. Green, please, would be really, really good. Red's not bad. Oh, he doesn't have it. Should have attacked? Maybe. So we can attack, this will remove, but this will also let us uh, uh, I think we better do this better Otherwise, what can he do with this? If he does actually get rid of it, no. Colors and a captivating cave. Okay. He's got a lot of tricks. Bounce. We can have a lot of things, so just thinking about what to do with four mana. Okay, now he has two mana. Great. 
It'll take everything, right? This is three, two, five. That's four counters, damn. Four counters missed. No, I should have attacked with it and then have the counters on this. That was bad. That was pretty bad. That was pretty bad. That was really bad. So I have to think about this carefully. Doesn't have white anymore. He's got blue. Okay. Okay. We're attacking. So he might attack. Okay. Okay, great. Yeah. This should be a 6-6 six, six right now. Whoa, whoa, what is going on? Hello? Hello? Whoa, whoa, are you reacting to me or what is going on? Uh oh, what's happening? What's happening? Uh oh. In the middle of a match, ay ay ay. In the middle of a match. Maybe that's his out. He has something. I don't know. Okay. So we don't. He might be. did he have here? Let's see first. One, two, three, four. Yep, I can do it. Mm. Hmm. He 
man, this guy. Hmm. This card. Okay. Okay, so he has one card. I don't know what could he could have. He just drew that. Uh, okay, just not, just don't do misplays like what I did with its quince. But he had a Dracosaur, so first loss was on me. Second loss was on me. Well, he had a Dracosaur, so it was an uphill battle, but we could still like do something, I guess. Do we have anything better? Hot foot gnome, sunshot militia. Let's see if we have something else for sunshot militia. Like a couple of sunshot militias, not great. Maybe something better. Uh, three drop is fine. Uh, yeah, we have a hot foot gnome. All right, we're putting in a hot foot gnome in favor of. Yeah, we're putting a hot foot gnome instead of a second sunshot militia. Three drop instead of a two drop. Uh, cause with three drop we can actually sneak in damage there. Chewy. I go first without anything. It's a mulligan. Okay. It's the veteran. He equips this. Oh, not great for us. We need a fourth land. A braid? Oh, okay. Over the edge. Okay, that's, that's okay. We need a land like that. I can't attack or you abrade this. You might have a braid as well over the edge. Again, kind of a weird thing. I can't yet. Yep. So this is going to be a pretty good target. can also target this for that oh okay So this is three. Hmm. 
Hmm. He has three mana. Uh, can we do something? No, we can't. We'll have to do this. See if he has a braid. Okay. I think it has nothing. Cool. If he has like a braid or something, then yeah, be able to destroy the Dine Automaton, but uh, seven, yeah, he was down seven, attack for lethal, that was lethal, if it went through, and I think he didn't have anything, because he would have already casted it on the previous turn, so he drew into its quints and wasn't even able to kill anything. We're good if we do oh. 100. What color are you? You don't have anything. Keeping it. Not black. Red. Red is fine. Yeah, sure. That means I can do three. Red, white. This is fine. Huh. It's quince later on to So if he doesn't do this right, we can have uh, it's Quinn's poison dart frog. Nope. Cast a two drop. Can't kill that. Only had a counter, man. It's 
So we can do Poison Dart Frog, it squints. Poison Dart Frog, Doink 4, it squints. But we can't get rid of that. Can we do it squints? Yeah, we can do poison dart frog and then it squints. Yeah. But right now we gotta get rid of this and this. 11. It's what least. What least. And then. Whoa. Yeah, I can get rid of that. Okay. This is two, right? Dollies for Oh my god, really? Really? What the heck? I lost with that. Damn. Two. 
Yeah. What the freaking hell? You had two for Ancestor's Aid and Dreadmaws? What the schmuck? That was dumb. Because either he's like he's doing that and then... What the heck? So we didn't get anywhere in this draft. Yikes. But yeah. <laughs> Boros did its Boros thing. We also did our thing. So no regrets. No regrets. But yeah, we weren't able to move. Uh, the last game was quite funky. He did not block. He blocked one and opted to go for the curator and he got what he needed well no even if he uh so he did italy's yeah he got italy so he had italy in hand italy and then that we would have died anyway we would have died anyway there was no other way for me to whoa that was oh Maybe the play was, uh, no, no, we used our mana pretty efficiently. Oh, no, no, because still need to, uh, yeah, 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 that was right, that was right. So four, four. Yeah, but we used our mana efficiently that game. We just squared off. Okay, well, again, the, uh, yeah, the deck was pretty good. Uh, of course, aggressive in its own form. Uh, we didn't get a lot of uh, permanents, great permanents. But again, we had the Watley's Final Strike. Watley's Final Strike is just proving to be a really, really good card. Along with staggering size, I, I just need to use it properly. That's it. Let's claim it. Do you think you have better plays than the ones I did? Comment below and let me know. Subscribe for more Magic the Gathering content. I'll see you on the next one.